Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel, and Sumeli, the senior citizen vlogger. I am here beside me, a Canadian. I am going to interview him. I am going to interview this man. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, Merlina. Uh, would, you, would you please introduce yourself to okay. our viewers? Okay. I am Bob Steer, known as Robert Steer, formally. But uh, most people call me Bob or Bobby. I'm a Canadian from British Columbia. I work on the water, I'm a mariner. I run boats as a skipper, captain, pilot, and chief officer. Sometimes I've even been the cook. Anyways, uh, my relationship lifestyle in Canada hasn't been the greatest, you might say, so I'm gonna try like what some of my friends do and come to the Philippines and find a Filipino wife. They're more caring, loving, take care of their man, take care of the home. They're known for the, those qualities, so it's my turn to try. But I've had some, uh, I've had some hard lessons so far. Anyways, that's, uh, that's my intro. Uh, are you doing business in Canada? Yeah, well, not business so much as I work as an employee for different shipping companies. Ah, uh, okay. So more of the, most of the time you are working, you are having a job. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. How about your family? Do you have a family? Yeah, I have a family, a sort of broken family, which is quite common over there. I guess it's getting to be more common all over the world, but my family is uh, my daughters, two daughters. Um, and they have kids themselves, so I have granddaughters. So all girls, and uh, so two daughters, 24, 28, and three granddaughters okay. that are very beautiful kids from young age to getting, you know, to be adolescent. And I have a stepson that I raised since he was a one year old, and he has three daughters also. So girls, girls, girls. Okay, uh, what is this? Now, how about, where are you, where do you live? Do you live with your, your children or do you live alone? No, I live alone and I actually have a roommate right now. I'm away so much and he works on the water as well. And so sometimes if I'm there, he's not there anyway because he's a commercial fisherman. Oh. And, uh, but it's nice to have a roommate because then I have some company when I'm home. And also when I'm away, I'm away a lot, either working on the water or traveling here. And then there's somebody there to take care of the house and my cat. Okay. Uh, how many times have you visited the Philippines? How many times have yeah, I visited here? This is my number six. Six times. number time. six. Yes. Now, during your first time to visit the Philippines, what was your purpose in coming? Well, the same thing in the first time. My first time was hopes to meet a girl that could end up being a future lifelong partner and be with me in Canada. Now, what are the quali qualities that you are looking for for a woman to become a wife? The qualities I'm looking for for to be a woman? Smoking hot, beautiful, a number 10 or a 9.5. No, I'm joking now. <laughs> what I want is I need a 10 that's on the inside. 10 in heart and character and doesn't have to be perfect on outside. Everybody has outside different looks and this and that, right? And what do they say? Beauty, oh, exterior beauty will only last so long and it will start to fade, but the inner interior beauty, beauty inner never beauty. Go, go away. So really I like all the typical qualities that Filipinas are known for. They're caring for their partners. Lots of them are very good at taking care of the home. Uh, dedicated to their to their man, loyal, loving, all those things, right? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes good cook, good singer, good yeah. dancer. Those are just extra little things, though, because I'm also a good cook, and I can take care of the home myself too. So, you know, if she's focused on a career, I can do more of the work in the house. So you know how my household works. Yeah, so I understand how it should work. Yeah. Now, how, during that time you visited here first, did you meet a woman? Huh, I did meet a woman when I first came here, yes. Then? And we dated for, we were, you know, partners basically. I proposed to her in the second year. 
and um, we were, you'd say, together for three plus years, and then it fell apart. What was the reason why you? Well, fell apart? it's hard to say, but she says different reasons to tell other people, but I don't think her reasons were very valid, and it seemed to me when I, when I decided I'm going to curb back how much money I send. I felt I was starting to send too much, too much, too much. Wow. And when I talked to all my friends that have Filipino girlfriends and wives, it turned out that I was sending way too much. Yeah. And maybe I spoil her. That's, not, that's not good to no, send much, yeah. No, she wanted me to buy a car. I and I understand, she, it was hard for her. She has an online sales business after work that she goes and has to run around in tricycles and jeepneys yeah. to deliver her little products. And it was becoming, uh, you know, it's a hard thing to have to be doing that. I can understand, but we were trying to bring her to Canada and not focus so much on investing in vehicles that are uh, depreciating, a depreciating asset is not a good thing to put money into here if the person's yeah. trying to come to Canada. So I had some hard lessons there. She had a previous marriage, and so I wasn't able to come here and marry her and bring her home. To uh, Canada. Said you have visited the Philippines for six times already? That's right, six times. No, I think you have also gone to different places in the Philippines for that six times. That's what right. What are the places that you have visited? Uh, I went to McDonald's, to Petrocan, to the Shell Station. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> You're a joker. Yeah. I went to uh, Park Mall. I went to Pacific Mall. No, oh. I went to I went to Bantayan Island twice now. Okay. And I've been to Barakai uh -huh. uh, once, and I've been to Dumaguete and Dowan, uh -huh. and then I've been to Bohol and Panglao, uh -huh. and stayed at Alona Beach uh, twice or three times Alona Beach, twice for sure. Anyway. Manila. And Manila. I've been to Manila, Kazan. Uh, where else did I go up there? Oh, and Iloilo. Oh, okay. Now, what are the nice places that you can that you have seen in the Philippines? The nice places? Uh, well, Barakai wasn't very nice when I was there, oh. but they've changed it now because that's why they changed it because it was too crowded. So Barakai originally is very beautiful little island, white. Before or now? Before. Okay. White sand beaches, but then it got too crowded because it was so pretty. Now they've changed it and they put a cap on the amount of people that are allowed to go there. It's really and I haven't, amazing. Yeah, and I haven't been there since then. But it's, uh, from what I understand, now with the less crowds, it makes it beautiful again. Uh, it's more beautiful than before? Yes, because nobody wants to go to well, it always was beautiful, but there was just too many people. I know. So, you yeah. don't want to go to a beach uh, location and, and be faced with massive New York New York uh, subway crowds, is what it was like, is, a, is being in a uh, New York subway. And uh, it, it, nobody want to be in a New York subway when they're on a beach vacation. Yeah, but there are lots of tourists in Boracay Island. Well, yes, lots of because it's so beautiful, so many people were coming. So now they've changed it. But Alona Beach, I really liked. I just liked the ambience there. That was at Panglao. I am Panglao, Mohan. Yeah. yeah. What, what other nice places have you gone to? And, uh, well. In Cebu. In Cebu, just we, Glenn and I, your son in law, and I took the scooters and went to Dumaguete one year. And so we got to tour the whole, not the whole island of Cebu, but we crossed over to the other side, to the west side of Cebu, and then rode the scooters down the highway, which is all along the ocean. That's very beautiful. And made stops along the way. And then took the ferry over to Negros. And I think, where do we land in Negros? Uh, San Carlos, maybe? Anyway, wherever we landed there, Again, it's it's a lot of the highways here seem like they're they follow the ocean um, because they're a perimeter a perimeter highway that that is a perimeter around the island. 
So because most of the towns in any country around the world always settle near the ocean because that's where the goods can be transported in. It's also maybe easier commuting from one town to the other. Uh, you know, going back to the day when everybody had to walk or take a horse. So the highways going alongside the ocean are very nice to have a traveling on them. Right. Yeah. Now, have you have you tasted Filipino foods? Oh yes, yes, I've definitely eaten some of the Filipino foods. What kind of food have you eaten? Uh, well, I, I, I'm bad for knowing the actual names, but just this past weekend, I was invited to a doctor's residence that is a, a beachfront resort, and his friend was there cooking the lunch, and she made the typical Filipina, uh, Filipino dishes, and they were the seafood dishes, and uh, your daughter actually knows the name of them because I showed showed her the pictures last night. It's the fish, and one was done, done in the vinegar. It was in the vinegar, so it was a a, a tart, a tart, sharp taste. And at home, when we cook fish, we fill it, and you don't see any skin or heads or anything. But here, it's oh, different. And Asian cooking, often the heads are in there, which is you know lots no of heads, no no bones. Yeah, so but there was the heads, the bones, whatever. Then the so, vinegar. Yeah. With spices. And the spices and yeah. some of the green. It's uh, quinilo. Yeah. Okay. It's fresh fish. Yeah. It's not cooked. Oh, it's nice. No. It's oh, fresh. yeah. It's like kimichi. We call that. Oh, that's. Or quinilo. ceviche. No, ceviche. We call that ceviche when it's ceviche? done in. Ceviche when it's done in lime juice and, and the lime juice cooks it. Oh, uh, so that's the name of your recipe there, Sam. In Canada, that's yeah. ceviche, but I believe that's Japanese. It's a Japanese method cooking in lime. Ours here is quinilo. Oh. Quinilo. Have you eaten tenola? I'm not sure what that is. The What's that one? fresh fish in spices with water with soap. Uh, fish in soap. Oh, I. Uh, yeah, I think I've had that one too. Have you eaten rice here? Oh, lots of rice, yes. I eat rice at home too. Oh. And you eat also in Canada, you also eat rice? Oh yeah, I have to uh, sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, you are. <laughs> and at home I buy wild rice, brown rice, and red rice. Uh, different yeah, sizes some, of Sometimes rice. I get long grain, white rice, uh, unbleached or whatever they call it so anyway they yeah. have sticky rice sticky yeah we rice. have sticky rice they have every kind in canada oh, oh, basmati jasmine how do you cook the sticky rice i'm not big on sticky rice because i haven't learned to make sushi yet okay 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 if you will if you will find a woman in the philippines are you planning to stay here for your life no no i want to bring her to canada so you are going to stay in Canada even if you will now be retired, if even in, in your retirement, retirement no, age? No, later on my plan would be to buy or develop a place here, maybe even a beach resort thing or small little business and have people run it, but I would like to be a big part of it, but I, will, I have kids and grandchildren at home in Canada. so. I would like to be able to go there in the summer months when the kids are out of school and go camping with the kids and take them fishing and boating on the lake, go do water sports and just and visit my friends. So I would like to be able to return to Canada but I see myself retiring here for sure. Oh, okay, that's very good. Yeah. Okay, then. So after this trip, how many days will you stay here for this trip? This trip is going to be, it's about one month exactly. Ah, so you are here for a longer time. Is this your, the most longest time that you are here? Yes, every trip I've had here has unfortunately had to be short because of work uh, demands to return to work. Now, what things do you like here in the Philippines? Which friends? Yeah. Yes, it may be with friends or anything that you like in the Philippines, the Filipinos and the Philippines itself yeah. as a country. Well, the places and the Philippines. My number one friends in the Philippines are your daughter and son-in-law. Because I met them when I arrived here on my very first night in the Philippines. <coughs> and so we had a good night out on the town, we went singing and had some drinks together and chit-chatting 
and we decided to get together after that initial meeting and we've been friends ever since. Yeah. That was five since years ago. Then until now. <laughs> Over five years ago, yeah. What other things do you like here? Other things I like here? Yeah, I like I like too. all the karaoke. Well, I like the people. I love the people. But the people the are very friendly and yeah. nice. And uh, I like the, some of their attitude and uh, living style. There's also some things that I don't like about that. That there's some things that happen that are you think needs to be improved. But everywhere has always has an improvement anyway uh, in different areas. So. But in general, the people are friendly, they're fun, they're positive, they're uplifting and uh, cheerful. And the place itself is very colorful. I like it when the vehicles have all these different colored lights. It, they stand out, I find you can see if there's a motorbike and it's got green turn signals and blue brake lights and this color and that color and trucks have different color. It, you really see them, you really notice it. And I feel like in Canada, we have a restriction that the brake lights are red, that the side marker lights are yellow, uh, everything's the same color, and you can get mesmerized by, monotonized by the same thing over and over again, and then there's thoughts of accidents. Here the traffic, it seems like absolute yeah. chaos. It's like chaos, but, uh, and not so many even street lights, but everybody manages to work it out. Who's gonna go next? Who's gonna go? In? One pulls out, one slot, one yeah, pull, right. and, and it works out somehow. Yeah, that's the problem here, the traffic condition. The traffic period. condition, yeah. but seems to work out for the most part. Yeah. I like diving here, scuba diving here is nice. Oh, what experience, what's my experience you have here? A bad experience? Yeah, you have bad experience. Oh, I had some bad experience with me trying to meet girls, yeah. So, <laughs> that's a bad, yeah. Bad and so I don't know if we want to have that on this video. Maybe we make a separate vlog for that one, a negative okay. one about the bad things. Okay. But I can just okay. warn the other foreigners out here. You've got to redo your research and listen to your advice, which maybe I didn't listen close enough. Uh, and yeah. And I got ended up on the wrong end of the. Yeah, that's very situation. good. There should be another. What's this? with advices of, of yeah. about foreigners coming into the Philippines, yes. meeting Filipino girls. Yeah. Yeah. So, what else are we going to discuss today? I think that is all for today. That's all for I, today? Okay. I guess you have still yeah. to go somewhere sure. else. Okay, thank you. Mm. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome. Till we meet again, till next thank interview. Thank you for having me. Okay, your, your thank you very much. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank Salma. you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching. This ends our interview with this Canadian. Okay, don't forget before we close, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And Sameli, he has also a channel. What's yes, the name of your channel? Robert Steer, and I've just started it. There's some videos on some ships, but I'm going to start adding some travel vlogs and uh, different. Uh, things for everybody to see in the Philippines. So you also subscribe to his channel, Bob Steer. Robert Steer, yes. Robert Steer. Okay, thank, thank you. you and goodbye.